Welcome back into YouTube viewers. Woo! Got a good show for you tonight, folks. Yeah. We doing more Easter stuff. Easter cooking, bacon, and having fun. Yeah. We are making red velvet cake. Yum. It's good, folks. It's real good. Um. Yep, we're going to do that and going to be finger licking good. Yum. Uh, well, my daughter had decided to take off with my sign, so don't forget to subscribe, folks. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. We have fun. And here's our cooking show. Let's cook. Baby girls and dad's cooking show. It's fun and fun for y'all too, folks. Yum. All right. Well, me and my wife's going to get things going, get things situated. We're going to get everything uh, ready to go. We'll be back here in just a minute. Yeah. All right, folks, we're back. Woo! Sorry, she's got a headache. Dealing with me all the time. Ain't that the <laughs> All right, folks. We are getting ready. Right now, what are we doing, Bubba? Spraying the pans. Spraying the pans to keep it non-sticking. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> what we have is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder, Yum. one and a half cups of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, a cup and a half of buttermilk, a cup of vegetable oil, two eggs, a teaspoon of vinegar. Don't ask me why a teaspoon of vinegar um, in a red velvet cake. Um, two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring and two tablespoons of uh, red food coloring. Yeah. <coughs> All right, <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. It folks. says, please, that's my face. Go around here. Oh, let me get on the good okay. side. All right, it says to uh, mix together the flour. Flour. Two and a half cups of flour. The cocoa powder. The cocoa powder. Cocoa. Bake, baking soda. If you're wondering where we got these from, uh, these little cups. Baking powder. And whisk that together. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk that food. Woo! It's so dusty. Yeah. All right. And then you add the sugar. Yeah, baby. And the salt. Salty. Okay. All right, that's the dry ingredient. <clears throat> Sit that to the side. And then in a bigger bowl. We are going to mix together the buttermilk. Buttermilk. Buttery. The oil. Oily. The look eggs. At that crap. Yeah, it makes it look nasty, doesn't it? 
Egg. We're having fun, folks. Yeah. The eggs. The vinegar. Vinegary. The vanilla. Vanilla. And the food coloring. Blood. Oh. You're so good. Is that everything? That's okay. All right, and then mix it together. Oh, wait, look how red that is. Warning to all vampires. That's not real blood. Do not try to eat this. And we already have the oven set on three, uh, 350. 350? Yeah. All right. And then we're going to add this to this, but we're going to do it really slow. So I'm going to get a um, this just to like start combining it in. Yeah, and you do it like this. And you whisk it until the it's um, nice and smooth. Mmm, smoothie. And I'm not a baker, you guys, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. We all know how it turns out. Good. Yeah, me. If you're wondering why she's doing that, it's going to take some time. If you're wondering where we got these things. Little cups. We got them at the what thrift shop? I don't remember. Yeah, we got them at a thrift shop. We're thrift shop shoppers. Yeah, we go around and you know <clears throat> it's interesting because you know you, you go to stores all the time and you know what's there, but when you go to thrift shops, it's like opening Christmas every week, folks. You never know what you're gonna find. You never know what you're going to get. Never know. Lost lock of... Box of chocolates. <laughs> Box of chocolates. You, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Look how red that is. I'm going to leave a cup on, under a crate with a string, and I'm going to catch me a vampire tonight. <laughs> 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 How about it, folks? <laughs> you want me to do it? That's a workout. Yeah, it is. Especially, when, you, especially when your arms are already tired yeah. from massaging people all day. Welcome to the new show we got going on here. It's called Workout with Workout with My Wife. Watch her as she work out her upper muscles, stirring cake batter. Hold the bowl. What bowl? Hold the bowl. Hold the bowl. I think next time we will use the mixer, even though it says use a whisk. <laughs> All right, folks, don't forget to subscribe. We need those thumbs up as well. The more thumbs up our show gets, the more people will get to see our show. It will be, well, they said that, uh, the more thumbs up, we'll be on a higher rank of the front page of YouTube. So gather around, folks. Whether you like this show or not, just give us a thumbs up. You don't even have to watch it. And we're back. Yeah. I'm very energetic tonight. Had some ice cream.
Wowzers. Ow. Ow. What'd you do? Don't stop me. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> All right. Now, that looks pretty smooth, don't it? Oh, yeah. Looks pretty smooth, don't it, folks? Now we got our cake pans already sprayed. And we're making red velvet cake from scratch, folks. You ain't gonna go out and buy a box because we make it from scratch. And we even got you a surprise. We're gonna make the frosting from scratch. Yeah. Get over here. So you try to get it even. Even Steven. And it said you can use a scale, but I ain't that. What's a scale? Uh, Talk about the weighing? Yeah, weigh it and make sure they're both even. I ain't that technical. <laughs> nah. Just kind of eyeball it. Hang on, I'll show you how. I want to show y'all folks the human scale. All right, as soon as you get done. All right, baby, hold the camera. I'm about to teach y'all the human scale. Ready? Ooh. No good? Not sweet? Oh. All right. The human scale. Put it Put it down. Something that my um, <clears throat> mom taught me is you kind of do like that to get all the air bubbles out. I don't know if it does any good. I thought you were doing a band or something. Dun, dun, dun. dun I don't dun. know if it does anything or anything like that, but anyway. All right, here we go. It's all In like a 350 cold. degree oven. For 35 minutes. For 35 minutes. It and went 34. Because it, it just dropped a minute. Mm. Um, and then when mm. it timer goes off, you check it with a toothpick. Yep. And then we'll make the icing. Icing. Yummy. All right, folks. Let me get back because her head hurts. Give me a howl. Woo! Yummy. We'll be back here in just a minute. Oh. See ya! We're back, folks. We're checking it out. Woo! Yummy. Careful, it's cold. Just got out of the stove. It's That's done. done. That's, That's done. done. Done means done, folks. Yeah. All right, now you have to set it on a wire rack and let it cool wire. in the pan for like 15 minutes or so. And then after that, you dump it out and let it completely cool. Sorry. Ow! And let it completely cool, and then we'll make the icing to ice it because it has to be completely cool, and you have to make the icing right away. So, um, that looks good, y'all. Mm -hmm. She thought she wasn't a baker. I'm not a baker. Looks like she is, folks. Yeah. Give me a go cooking how. Woo! I could be loud now, folks. She's gone to the bathroom and she's got a headache, so 
I'm getting loud. Yeah! We're going to have red velvet cake. Yummy. And... Mm. All right, folks, we'll be back here in just a minute. See ya! Guess what, folks? We're back. Yeah! All right. All right, it's been 15 minutes. So I can touch the pans. So now I can flip them over. How easy that one. Oh. Yeah. Warning before you take that it out. That is a once in a chance. Yeah. Because <laughs> every other cake I make sticks, right? <laughs> Warning. Uh, let it cool before you touch it by hand. Yes. That's... This is after 15 minutes. 15 or 20 minutes. Yes. So, All right, we'll be right back when it cools completely because it's still a little warm. When it uh, cools absolutely completely, then we'll come back and we'll make the icing and ice it. What she said, folks. Yeah. It sounds good. Fun. Yeah. We're making icing from scratch. We're making red velvet cake from scratch. You can't get no recipes anywhere else but our show. No, you can't. You can get them other places. I'm trying to sell my show here. All right. We'll be back, y'all. And we're back. All right. And then it's two um, packs, eight ounce um, cream cheese. Let me get on the good side. It's, it's a pound of cream cheese, eight ounces of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a cup and a half of powdered sugar. So this is a pound because it's two eight ounce ones. And folks, when I point like this, it's going to get loud. Because we're using the mixer. Yeah. Uh-oh. We got guests. Go put them in. Go put them in the room with baby girl. Oh, right. baby girl. She's in the bedroom. Go put them in the room with baby girl. Where's she, my mixer? Okay. All, All right. right. So that is what you're gonna hear if you don't go put them in the room. <laughs> Our little alarm system's going off. Cake. We already made the cake and making the icing now. Yeah. We're making icing. We made red velvet cake. We making ice. Yummy. And she's using the egg beater. Watch this, folks. Nah, better not. And what is this? Two? Two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. Very room temperature. Room temperature. That'd be good on a bacon. Is that a hot room or a cold room? Is that a hot room or a cold room? It just says room temperature. It just says that. room temperature. Smarty pants. Let's move this because we don't want that into that. As you can see, that's my toes. Shush. And then it's um, eight ounces of butter. This is a four ounce stick of butter. Also, very room temperature. Very room temperature. Oh, I'll get it. Not before she does. Stop it. All right, go ahead and get it. All right, 
folks we about to get loud all right so um where's it hang it here don't let it knock that over okay all right and you remember from last time this has one the the low speed is like really loud so um, i'm gonna back up a little bit you cream it together until it is thoroughly mixed and creamy That thing just shot. I saw that. What did it shoot? Some of this. Oh. Creamy, creamy, you see? Then we're going to add the vanilla. Now we're going to start adding the uh, uh, powdered sugar. And then what? Oh, the Okay. Cut for a second. All right, we'll be back, folks. Here, look at this, folks. It looks just like those uh, cake icing you get straight from the little tub there. What you call it? Well, cake icing. It looks just like cake icing. Ain't that incredible, folks? Mmm. Un-American. Mm. Good. Now you said something about you had to uh, use it right then. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? You just said use it right away. Okay. So you can't. If you let it sit 30 or 40 minutes. Yeah. You can't spread it, man. It gets on foot. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. <coughs> Let's move that knife. It's worrying me. <coughs> Actually, my toes are starting to worry. Now, that's what it flipped out some uh -huh. powder. So now we just put it right on the plate. And a friend of mine told me that when she makes a cake, um, and I won't say who it is in case her family's watching. But she'll make a box cake and she'll take a, a long skewer and poke holes in it and then take a simple syrup, which is equal parts water and sugar, and she'll brush over it with a brush and it'll seep down in there to it. And she said it makes it taste just like a homemade cake. Hmm. So if you're making a box cake, do that. What's a box cake? Up oh, out of a box. Oh. So we're going to take a little bit of this. I know, right? We're going to smooth it. Oh, I forgot the pecans. Mm. Pecans. Yummy. Did y'all know these pecans taste like pecans? Ooh. You're so weird. You married me. I know, right? Who's the weird person now, woman? I know it. It is hot in here. Pecan abuse. Is there still one? Yeah, it should be. Another pecan down. Nope, we saved it. 
Mmm, crunchy. Yummy. Still kind of big chunks, but yeah. they eat the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to take the other cake. Oop, it's fixing a break. Oopsie. Put it right down on there. Ooh, look at that, folks. That looks good. You can see where it broke right there. Yeah, that'd be alright. Be very careful, folks. The cr the cake breaks. I found yeah. that out. Broke right in half. That'd be alright. It's all right. the same. <clears throat> Move the, the right thing. Thank you. That looks good, folks. And you know, we're going to have to do the teaser. Didn't Kessler want to do the teaser? Baby girl! Did you want to do the teaser? My child's doing the teaser tonight, folks. Yeah. So, hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> what? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Pecans? Pecans. Pecans. Pecans, pecans. According to which side of the world you are living on. Like a new name, Kate. <laughs> Paul made a funny. Y'all remember him and teaching y'all how to make homemade sausage, which I got to get up back on cutting meat. Teach y'all more ways to cut. I'm being lazy, folks. More icing than you need. Come look and see how it looks, Pa. Oh, that's a long way to walk. <laughs> that looks good, folks. In a short time to get there. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, folks. Mmm. -hmm. You just pick them off, shit. Here, I'll I'll do the teaser. I want some cake. Get us pick the pecan. Look at that, folks. Don't that look good? Is Daisy outside? No, she's in my room. Mmm. I got to hunt no bunny a while ago, and guess where I found him? Standing outside the front door. Outside the front door? He went out at the yard gate and was standing at the front door of the house. Folks, don't that look good? Get you. Mm. All right, we gonna do the teaser. All right, baby girl. That's not something you get from a store. Really? I'm being honest. Tastes like it came from a store. Hey, That's a couple man. Yeah. Is it good? Folks. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good right now. All right, folks. We'll see y'all next time around. See ya.